this time around we're trying something different so we saw how much i enjoyed doing gt sport uh, particularly when it was things like the mini um, around brands hatch the brands indy um, i really like that race i got quite good at it i feel uh, so i thought we'd try something different right like i've got half dozen ish odd sims some of them are you know like the truck sim and some of them are wreck fest not really a sim some of them are you know i've got grand prix legends sitting around somewhere but i've got like you know project cars 2 i've got a set of course i've got ams and ams 2 what they've all got now is a mini model so they've all got a mini they've all got a, a brand hatch with the indie track uh so i thought what we'd do is have a look at which one feels the most GT-ish, I guess. That's the thing. So GT Sport, I kind of got the hang of that. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Uh, I got my lap down to like a 58.6 something. It'll be up over here. So it's five laps, GT Sport. Cut over, five laps in a PC-based sim. The goal is, let's see how close I can get in the PC sim to my GT Sport times, uh, both the ones that I set on the day and my overall record, and then discuss differences between them. So, let's go, GT Sport time. was average maybe you know um i got down to 59 something there uh, and that was all right uh but it's not what i can do obviously it's not my 58.6 something up here um so we're now gonna hop over to project cars 2 and give that a thrash five laps project cars 2 brain hatch this is a um a clubman i think it's some kind of rally cross thing so I'm expecting huge performance and fast speed. Uh, I'm not sure what to expect in terms of grip. This is a nice, pretty looking pit lane. I um, don't really remember much about the GT Sport pit lane because... Right. I mean, you can hear from the engine it's some kind of weapon. wastegates and everything. I think this is a rallycross car.
cannot get on the throttle hard. That'll be lap time invalidated. Yeah, there you go. Now. This is an outlap. So I've got outlap, one outlap, five flying laps. Oh, don't change down to second. I think second is going to be death. Even third feels sketchy. We've got cold tyres. Oh Jesus, look at the speedo. I don't think I even want to go down to second here, even if it is faster. I mean that was third. Oh, it feels so sketchy. Feels like classic Project Cars 2 sensations of put your foot down and get rilt. Touching the low gears, looking at your throttle in low gears, death. I don't know how much I can use curbs. Might have a go after we've done our five. See what we can do. Don't do that. Don't get on throttle on low gear. Three, hey. It's pretty much change down into second, but don't change, don't get on the gas in it. That's invalidated. Brilliant. I'm going down to a 50.497. I guess, um, default setup as well, right? So, I think I saw something about the fastest lap with this car around here. It was a 43. Mm. So clearly there's a lot of pace in this thing once you learn to control it and get your confidence up. No. Yeah. Okay, so this is this is absolutely standard PC2 um, levels of track limit and curb enforcement. And that you cannot you cannot exceed the limits or you will get a penalty. Oh no, that's not it at all. So 
so you really do have to slow down for the corners where you're gonna die race control will kill you there we go that was five laps it got down to 49.9 49.960 right so we are comparing Gran Turismo Sport and PC2 Gran Turismo Sport I got the 58.682 uh, I don't think this is an apples and apples comparison in terms of the cars I think there was a Clubman something in GTS I might have to give that a go for next outing, um, earn some credits and go get that. And uh, on the other hand, we had PC2 uh, with the club inversion, a 49.960. So apart from, I think that PC2 just looks better. Uh, what else is different in terms of the way the cars handled rules, physics? Okay, so GTS, you get all your, your lovely cones and your line. Um, PC2 you don't get the cones PC2 you're relying on the on the line which is nicely highlighted and you know it changes colour and all that um, when you get in your braking zones and then changes colour again when you can get back on the gas, that's nice no question, but not having those cones as the extra marker at the side of the track is probably detrimental and I think having the cones helps you actually practice for when you turn those driving aids off. GTS felt more planted. It felt a lot easier. PC2, if you put your foot down hard, especially in lower gear, you just, you, you, you kind of snap. It's not quite as severe a snap, but you, you definitely torque steer and you torque steer out of control. Um, so that's something you have to learn in Project Cars too, is how to handle that. Um, how that compares to other sims, I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. So you saw just cutting those curbs a little bit. You can't go through that Sergey's McLaren piece the way you do, or the way you would in GT Sport. And you sure as shit cannot abuse um, the curb on the exit of hill. Like, you just can't can't do that. And that, I think, is one of the key things that is really different in Project Cars 2, is how harsh the cutting penalties are. It's a very different game. It's a very different sim. GTS feels more arcadey in comparison to Project Cars 2. Project Cars 2 feels harder. Whether it's more accurate, I don't know. Um, that's kind of the point. We'll try these other ones and see what feels better. That's it for this comparison. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, have a safe one.